I just turn it off so I can see how long it takes. Where's the timer at? I every time no, you I shut, see no time until every, I turn it off. Every time you shut that off, I have to reset the camera. So I gotta paste that together three times now. That's called editing. I hate editing. Well, I don't know how to tell you what, how much time it took. I don't I care how long it takes. There's you a asked clock, me. There's you a asked clock me. behind you. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe it was a fictitious statement. Okay. <laughs> we didn't care how long it took. You never know. So now I'm going to have to edit my camera. I hate editing. That's actually more work. Hey, I'm new at this job, like I can say. I'm going to fire you. <laughs> Should have already been fired. Every time you shut the camera off, I'm going to fire you. Okay. Now, this is exactly what you have to do if you want to put the limiters back in, too. Opposite. That is correct. These lifters have very little clearance in them because the pistons were binding up a little bit. Come on, you piece of crap. Get in here. There you go. Two down. Not yet. Now it goes in. See, the clip wasn't in all the way until I was there. Make sure it goes up and down freely. And Two sure down. Turns too when down. Make sure you didn't do any damage. They probably have some fancy tool that holds them. I'm sure they do. Right in that little thin spot there. And back out with the clip. And if you lose this clip, too bad. <laughs> you obviously didn't need it. Same with all the other little parts that are in there. Not a standard item. You're not going to be able to go down to Harley Davidson and buy those. Or the hardware store. And they're not in the SNS book either. This comes in handy. There's somebody on uh, eBay selling three rocker arms today. Jeez, I wonder what happened to the fourth one. <laughs> Stainless steel spring. Three rockers. Can't get that hardly either. My race bike used to go through three rock arms too all the time. Yeah? One at a time. Piston down, the clip goes back in. You notice how I stand it up, put it in, use my thumb to push it in. You make sure it's in there all the way when you're done. If you get really close with your eye and it pops in your eye, it's your fault. Don't blame me. It's your fault for not getting in all the way. If you feel like you need to wear safety glasses, wear them. I have my own, they're called eyelashes and lids. Learn how to use them. So you know, that's how the screwdriver catches the clip and you try to lose it? Yeah. Number four, folks. You can buy these without the limiters in them, also. They're available for purchase if you want to buy them. We just don't have them in stock here. I have limiters in stock. Limiters, but not non limiters, do you? I have non limiter ones, yeah. That's because I like high performance stuff for me. Mm. It's regular customers with stock type motors we don't care about fancy race parts. If you're going to be running your bike consistently over 6,000 RPM with 200 pound seat pressure springs, 
I can guarantee you that you need to have the limiters in there. <laughs> but if you're not going to do that, you probably don't need them. Because yep. it makes it really hard to adjust the valves when you don't know what you have in there. So, there you go. There's no limiters, folks. No moss. Don't need them no more. Well, they're available for purchase for a nominal fee. You can't buy from s, &S but you can buy them here at Tetros. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can buy best ass too. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna put these back in the motor. Remember this thing over here we were working on? Oh, we got rudely interrupted. Now, what do we need to leave off? Uh, lifter blocks, we, lifters. We lubed. Oh, lube the lift. Okay, lube the bores for the lifters. Now we're gonna lube the rollers. Okay. Because the rollers need Another to be critical lubed. part that needs lubrication when the motor doesn't have any oil in it. That too. So you put a little bit on both sides of that to get some roller lube. Then you come over here and you get the, you get your fingers all lubed up too. See how you can do this? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Nice work. Boy, that is some slimy job there. Do those things have needle bearings in now, the roller or what do they have? Use, yes. Now when you install these, make sure you do not put them in like that sideways. Make sure you put them <laughs> in the correct direction. You don't move them around, huh? That's correct. Now if you notice these have flat spots on them. Yep. There's a pin that holds them. So if you have to take your lifter and grind a flat spot in it, it's probably in the wrong direction. <laughs> your lifter boards are really tight too. See how they barely go in there? They have a tool that shows to hold those things up, like this little spring clip deal. So mine must be pretty tight to stay in there. Yeah. Good lube too. Yeah, well that too. Cam in there hold them up too. Oh, yeah, well, I guess when the cam's out, they have it, they leave them in the block, huh? Sometimes. Yeah, they have fancy stuff they use. It's sort of a paper clip or something. You take a paper clip and bend it around to make it a little keeper out. Uh, big magnets work too. I got some fancy tools for doing it. I have the Screaming Eagle tool that does it. Yeah. Yeah. So there's your pin. And that's for what? That's called lifter retention. Okay. Anti rotation. See, when the pin is in there, they don't rotate. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. That locks that flat <coughs> see how spot easy in, that is? flat spot into place, huh? Now, see, in your race car, you got these things called link plates. Mm hmm Guess how many of those link plates break versus that pin? Mm -hmm. I bent two of my plates. Well, try bending that pin. <laughs> there you go, folks. That's the uh, fully assembled lifter. See, even though it's a piece area. of crap, Twin cam motor is still better than most car motors. <laughs> <laughs> they did, did get a little bit of a technology from Envia Gusta here. Everybody likes those LS motors, they're all held together with plastic. That's, lifter the, that's blocks. the truth, too. Plastic all over them things. Yeah, those are quality pieces. And take manifolds. Yeah. The only thing good about the LS motor is they have nice ports. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, they just, Fuel flows good you know, in If you buy a set of racing heads for your regular shitty small block, guess what? You get them good ports too. <laughs> <laughs> There's something yellow flashing in the middle of it there. Is what that battery? The camera? Yeah. Probably means the battery's getting dead. That means I gotta do a battery swap. Or we quit videoing. Which one are we gonna do? I well, we can't quit in the middle of the job. I see how that lifter does not want to go in the hole. I noticed that. That's not good. A little too tight, huh? Well, that's a little snug. Well, Anything on it? Anything in the hole? It just doesn't like you. So your blocks are really tight. Very low mileage on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that one out. And we're going to try to get this one out. See how low that is? Now if you go like this. Bang it around, huh? There it goes. Bang it up. See all the lift that motor has now, you guys? A perfect example. We take that one and stick it over in that hole. It's a lot easier, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, so it might be this might have a little some, large. This one here might be a little might have some burrs on it or something. Yeah, see it wouldn't even Definitely does not want to go in there. Okay, we're gonna to have to work on this one a little bit. Put the mic on it. 
You're just on the very tip there, or what? Pause or just keep it going? Keep it going. You say you have 20 more minutes, right? I don't know. You have the yellow battery. I don't know what that means. So that means you got some more time left. So the first thing we do is we look for Burr here. Feel that right there with your finger. Do you feel that Burr? I do. That could possibly be the problem. Is that from us? Or do you think that was already there? Yeah, it might have been holding the device. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's hard to believe that aluminum job would be doing that. So we're going to use our honing stone. We used this before on my fork tubes. It works really good. We also use it on those piston rings. Oh, did we? Yes. I wasn't there for that part. This has multiple uses. It's a really fine grit and it's flat. It also makes very low grit. Very important on this application because this lifter's already got oil all over it. We don't want grit in the motor. No, we do not. I'm still going to go over the cleaner part of my rag and wipe the lifter off. Okay. Let me go clean that with some solvent real quick and we'll put it right back in. The battery's getting tiny now. I want to make sure it goes in. Mucho better. Mucho better. Appears there's no grit. If there's any grit on that, it would not have gone in a hole. Right. I was just saying that for the, for the customers anyway. We're going to clean it anyway, but it's, uh, yeah, that was the problem. It had a burr. It had a, I don't know if you could see it in the camera, there's a burr on it. Yeah, I couldn't see. I could feel it though. Yeah, we could feel it. I felt it too, so I cleaned it. So, anyway, it's nice and smooth now. Okay, we'll clean up, change the battery, put this together. Ta da!